First of all, thank you so much thank you. for being here with us. Uh, I want to ask you a few questions. Sure. Uh, first of all, tell me a little bit about uh, the relationship you have with yourself. With myself before the accident? Both. Both. So the, who is on social media? Who's using Facebook? Everyone. Have you ever put your relationship status complicated? My relationship with myself before I was here was so complicated. It was all about people. It was never about me. There was no me anywhere. You see, people's pleaser. A person who just wants to make everyone happy knowing that it's not worth it. You just keep doing it, keep doing it. And yes, your relationship eventually with yourself becomes complicated. And then now, I don't know where there are people around me or not, but I'm me now. I'm more me now. That's so nice. Uh, what advice would you give to your younger self? To my younger self? Interesting question. Well, I'll just make her sit next to me and very nicely I'll tell her, don't invest yourself in the wrong people. Because when you invest yourself in the wrong people, they break you into pieces, they torn you apart in such a way that it takes years and years to get back together. And also I'll tell her that while you're busy, making amazing plans in your life. My dear, prepare yourself for worse because life is so unpredictable. Just be prepared. One of my philosophies in life is, is that the, there are three steps in order mm -hmm. to repent your life. Uh, first of all is to change your personal story, then your daily rituals, and then the people you surround yourself. Yes. I, I believe so much in this. So tell me how important is to surround yourself with the right people. Time is a beautiful teacher. It filters out the extras from your life, including people. Being in the wheelchair in 12 years, I've met three categories of people. Number one category, is of the people who see you in the misery, in pain, and they back off. They're like, we are gone, we can't handle. I respect them for their honesty. Then there is another category of the people who are not there with you, but they just want to cling on with you all the time. They're so weak that they try to stay in your shadow. Liberate yourself from those people because they are toxic for you. Don't let them cling on to you because they're not there to help you. Liberate them, liberate yourself. And then there is third category. These beautiful people who are so selfless that when they see you in pain, they stand next to you. They've got your back. They don't share the limelight. They are just there for you. These are your people value them. So yes, there are three categories of people. Try to surround yourself with those who are real and you will feel real. Okay. What, what about jealousy? What about? About jealousy. But jealousy? Yeah. I pity them. I pity those who see their failure in your success. You know, these critics, they were once dreamers. They just wanted to achieve something that today you have, but they gave up and they started becoming jealous of you. Pray for them because they're in a lot of pain. One of the things that I see usually when I do therapy, a lot of women, uh, they prefer to stay in a miserable relationship mm -hmm. instead of get out. Yeah. The fear of being alone is greater so would you give 
some advice uh, to, to, the, to these women? We all tend to invest ourselves in relationships. And as I said, if you are doing something right with the wrong person, nothing good will turn out. And deep inside, we women are quite intuitive. We know that it's not going anywhere. It's okay to be on your own. You are stronger than you think. Don't worry about that. And wait for the right person. Let the right person come to you. There's no rush. Are you in a good relationship with yourself? Do you love your own company? If you're miserable alone, I'm sorry. Your partner will be miserable with you. So we need to understand that we need to love our own company. Only then people will love to enjoy our company too. And don't rush. Wait for the right person. Because if it's meant to be, it will be. One of the things I, I usually say is that uh, your relationships reflect your self-relationship. Exactly. So the That's most so important true. thing is to, to look within, yes. to fix the most important relationship that is the relationship you have with yourself. Yeah. Muniba, I, I want to ask you, how do you want to be remembered? Such a beautiful question. I want to be remembered as an empath, somebody who just didn't say that I feel your pain. But I want people to see that when I say this, I mean it. And as far as my life story is concerned, I don't know how my story will end. Maybe it will never end. But yes, nowhere in my text the world will ever read I gave up. <laughs>